What's up guys, Nicholas Bailey here. Welcome to my channel. If you have not hit that subscribe button, you're gonna to wanna to do that right now. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you, should you or shouldn't you go to college, I'm gonna tell you which one I did and why I did it. If you're watching this, you're probably wondering like, should I go to college? Should I go back to college? Or maybe you're like thinking maybe you should drop out of college. There's all those different options. My story was that like I was in high school and I didn't do that well, typically because I really didn't know of like what was college for. And I think one of the smartest things that successful people do that unsuccessful people don't is they ask why. And, and generally that doesn't always lead to a good thing. Like I didn't know why I was going to high school or why I should go to college. So I didn't really do well preparing in high school. Now I do recommend that if you are doing something, you should do it really well. So if I had to go to high school because that's what my parents made me do and you're supposed to do it until you're 18, and if I'm gonna live underneath their, their roof, I should probably do what they said. And so if you, your parents maybe don't agree, well then don't be underneath their roof. But at the time, I needed to live under my parents' roof and I wish I would have actually applied myself to high school because that's where I was actually at. But I got a 1.8 GPA and it got to the point where afterwards, I just remember thinking like, what else am I supposed to do? Like society has told me to go to college and I could either go get a job or go to college. And, and this is what's so funny for people is a lot of people go to college just to avoid real life because they don't want to like have to actually go out there and get a job. So they think they can prolong that later longer while they try to figure out what they want to do. But what that's leading to is the majority of graduates are not actually finding a job inside of their field. And so I ended up thinking like maybe I should write a note or a letter to like some college that could maybe accept me. And I started thinking like maybe this is like the new challenge in life that I'm going to go do. And I remember just like trying to figure it out and I ended up just settling for going to junior college and I ended up giving that same half-ass effort to junior college because I never thought like what is college actually going to help me do in my career? So the first step for you is to figure out what do you actually want out of life and what are you actually looking to do? And if what you're trying to do doesn't require you to go to college, then why would you end up investing in something that isn't contributing to your future success? Meaning that if you actually are supposed to go to college to get a degree, then go and do that. Don't allow this video to, to discourage you. Go do what you want to do. Yet the majority of things out there right now, uh, careers, they're not looking for a college education, they're looking for competency, which is tough to find in a college sector because they're just not teaching things that are relevant for today. Now, back in the day, everyone who was getting a job, typically you were gonna get paid more for a college degree. That's why people went out there and did that, and that was very smart to do at a time. Yet now, that is found less and less where you're seeing people invest money, go into debt, without a clear outcome that they're looking to produce, which is absolutely crazy, makes college an expense rather than an investment. And so first ask yourself that for me, I ended up dropping out of college, my junior or my uh, college that was a community college because I wasn't even showing up to anything anyway. I would have never even graduated with anything. So after one semester, I dropped out because I was gonna go out there and create a business. What I found out was that there's a quote out there that says that, that formal education will make you a living while self-education will make you a fortune. And I started realizing that it was less about where I was investing my money to get a degree and it was more about where I was investing my money to get that self-education so I could be empowered to have the skill sets and knowledge base to be able to create a fortune. So if you wanna go get a, and make a living, go out there and invest in formal education. And if you wanna make a fortune and that's what you wanna do, then I would suggest following the quote from someone smarter than me which is saying that you'll make a fortune if you go out there and invest in your self-education. So what I'm not saying in this video is that you shouldn't invest in education. I truly believe that the number one investment that you can make is first in yourself. Second investment you can make is in your own business and career. So what that means is that I actually suggest investing more than ever before, more than you would even invest in college, in your personal education and your personal network to equip yourself to be able to go out there and make a fortune. Yet, I would look at the areas that you're investing the money and ask, is this giving me an ROI that's gonna contribute to my future or is there a better place that I can invest my money? Do not just follow the social norm of what everyone tells you that you should do. Go find someone who has the life that you want, who is making the money you want, 
has the freedom that you want and ask them what did they do and what do they recommend. See the average is 97% of people at the age of 65 are either dead or dead broke relying on their friends, family and government for their main source of income. That means 97% of people are not good people to ask for advice which also means that you should probably find the 3% that have the results that you want, ask them for the help. And so what I would love to do is that if right now you're either contemplating, should I go back to college, should I drop out of college, should I even go to college, to be able to further your career, increase your income and opportunity, what I want to invite you to do is actually just comment below what, what situation are you in and where do you want to go? Like, like what type of career do you want to create? What type of business do you want to create? And if Investing in formal education would be the best for you. I'll answer that. Or if self-education would be the best for you, let's point you in the right direction because now there's YouTube, all these different things where you can learn things and start applying them to get results right away rather than going massively in debt for the chance to graduate to possibly, 30% chance, of getting a job inside of your field that's probably not even making that good of money that's going to take you years and years and years and lots of stress to just get out of the debt that was created because that is just the social norm that we've been told. Don't do that. Do the smart thing, comment below, and let's see what's best for you. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, what the heck, man? And then make sure to subscribe so they get more content like this. Your network is your net worth. One of my best friends told me the other day, he said, it's not my pocketbook, which he's very rich, that's the most important things when he's getting connections. It's actually his phone book. The people that he knows is the valuable asset that he has.